Just ahead, the new airport scanners may be more than just a privacy threat. Could they be hazardous to your health? A lot of research has come out that the radiation from these machines is harmful. Welcome back. Well, as we heard at the top of the show, the heightened security measures at airports this holiday season are setting off alarm bells, but it's happening among passengers, and one group is taking matters into its own hands. It's actually organizing a national opt-out day scheduled for tomorrow, the busiest travel day of the year. The idea is to encourage travelers to refuse the new body scanners. Yesterday, Francesca spoke with Danny Penzella, who is coordinating the effort at JFK Airport. Danny, thanks so much for joining us on Cards today. We appreciate it. You're welcome. We won't fly.com, trying to tell people to not get on an airplane on the busiest travel day of the year, the day before Thanksgiving, if they feel as though the full body scan technology that is often employed now in airports and the pat downs are just too intrusive. So you came up with this website and this idea. What is your message to people? Well, I think that we need to push back against the airlines and the TSA. So it's a two pronged approach. If you must fly, opt out of the scans that are potentially harmful to your health, certainly an invasion of privacy and a violation of the Fourth Amendment, uh, your Fourth Amendment rights. Uh, and if you can drive to your destination, protest the airlines, send a message that profits will go down if they continue to subject the American people to harmful scans and invasive uh, searches. Let's take this a step back. Obviously, the government is saying that this is to protect consumers, to protect flyers, to protect citizens uh, from potentially, you know, terrorist activities. Mm -hmm. We saw last year uh, somebody tried to sneak a bomb on in his underwear, and so these kind of scans would show that area. Or if you were subjected to a, uh, you know, physical uh, touch TSA exam, then obviously that would also identify foreign objects. But talk to me about why you think that it's just going too far, even though they might want to be protecting people. Well, uh, for me, uh, my personally, uh, personal opinion, a lot of research has come out that the radiation from these machines is harmful. So, so the idea that you're going to keep fl people flying safe by avoiding bombs when you have a better chance of being struck by lightning than killed in a terrorist attack, yet douse people with radiation and TSA workers are going to be standing next to these machines and there we douse with radiation every day at work, uh, increase, substantially increasing risk of cancer, it's counterintuitive. We're going, to, we're going to save very few people who are killed in terrorist attacks, yet increase risk of cancer in a whole population of flying people who fly. And you're obviously doing the interview here today. What else are you doing to get your message out? Because it's clear that you're saying if this isn't something you go along with, then don't play ball. Well, we have uh, people spreading the message all over the internet. Facebook is a powerful tool. And we're doing our national opt-out day protest, which we're going to be staging one here uh, at uh, JFK Airport in the New York City area. Also, Newark Airport has a uh, protest going on where we're going to try and educate flyers as they go to fly for the holidays on their choices and their rights, the rights to refuse the scan and their rights to uh, refuse to be uh, what many people are saying uh, amounts to molestation by TSA workers. Do you think that a lot of people are aware of the potential radiation dangers associated with this? No, I don't think it's been wi widely enough reported. Uh, several. Uh, technical and science journals have reported on it. The media, mainstream media, for the most part, has not picked up on it. And this information is just starting to come out. The University of California just sent a letter to the White House Science Org asking for a moratorium on these machines until a more comprehensive investigation into the health effects can be determined. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we sort of chuckled about it when it came out maybe a few weeks ago or so. Someone said, you know, don't touch my junk. He didn't want to go to the actual, you know, pat down. Yeah. Um, and, and he didn't, but, uh, you know, he refused to do that. What do you think the consumers are most mad about and most upset about? Is this sort of, you know, putting their anger toward the body that's trying to protect them? Or, you know, is it really well-founded? Well, I think it's, it's certainly uh, within our rights to be upset if we're going to be violated in some way. So uh, the, the question really, I think, becomes how, uh, how much are we willing to pay for freedom? Are we willing to be inconvenienced? Are you willing to walk away from that uh, and miss your flight if TSA refuses to let you on the plane? Are you willing to not fly? Are you willing to be inconvenienced by having to drive uh, to a location? How much are you willing to sacrifice to ensure that your rights are protected? Mm -hmm. And the more of us that opt out, the more of us that push back against this, uh, this tyranny, 
uh, the better chance we have of having it completely done away with. Do you have any particular goals, numbers of people that you're sort of hoping opt out or, uh, you know? Well, I, would, I would like 100% opt out. 100% opt out would guarantee that the, the uh, airlines are going to tell the TSA we need to find a less invasive way, uh, a way of, of implementing security without violating the rights of the citizens. To, to violate constitutional rights for any purpose is, is wrong. Benjamin Franklin said, he who trades essential liberty for temporary security deserves neither one. Well, on that note, Dandy, with the words of Benjamin Franklin, we will have to leave it for now. But thanks so much for joining us today on Currents. We appreciate it. Thank you. Laura well, Francesca Maxime there with Danny Panzella. Stay with us. There's more Currents straight ahead. When we return, it's more than a movie. 